Hey guys, I'm back in the last part, we unlocked Lu Bu's level 10 weapon. And now, we're going to go unlock Sun Shang Xiang's level 10 weapon. But keep in mind that this will be done in Legend Mode. So we cannot combine Dynasty Warriors 4 and Dynasty Warriors for Extreme Legends. Otherwise, we'll have to go to the Free Mode, play the Race for the Non-Territory, and get it that way. But uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Since we are getting Sun Shang Xiang's level 10 weapon in Legend Mode, we have to go to her Legend stage. So, there we go. And I'll show off the fourth mall like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration, so I'll skip that. The special rules, no bodyguards, that's fine. The equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Lunar Chakrams at level 9. The items, I'm going to leave it like this, so there we go. I can't have any bodyguards, so move on. The objectives, all I have to do is make sure that I get Liu Bei and myself to the escape point. If Liu Bei falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. Unit info. For Liu Bei's forces, you have Liu Bei and Sun Shang Xiang, which is me. For Sun Shang's forces, you have Chang Po, Pan Zhang, Xu Shang, and Ding Fang. Alright, let's do it. So in order to get Sun Shang Xiang's level 10 weapon here in Legend Mode, all you have to do is defeat the four enemy generals that you see here. However, you have one minute to defeat them from the time that you actually encounter them. Any of them. So take your time with that. It's very, very easy to get. Well, this will be another easy one. I would say focus your time more on Liu Bei than anything else and make sure he doesn't die because defeating those four is very easy and the clock really doesn't start until you approach one of them and that's for every single one of them so I mean it may sound a little confusing with the objective at first but just keep in mind that once you approach Chung Pu you got a minute to defeat him once you approach Pan Zhang, you have a minute to defeat him, so on and so forth. So, like I said, very, very, very easy to uh, get. Especially for the fact that they're all non-playables. Also, Jian Xin and uh, Zhou Tai will appear, but that's later. And I'm not really worried about those two either. Maybe Zhou Tai. He'll be the only one I have to worry about, but besides that, damn. Yeah, maybe I should go and secure that gate, since I actually have, and uh, that gate captain's almost dead, somehow. Not that I'm complaining. But we need to make sure that there won't be any troops following us the entire time, because I can't afford Liu Bei to fall. I'm not worried about me, I'm more worried about Liu Bei. Now we'll approach uh, Chung Pu and Pan Zhang. Oh, let's try to get one of them at a time. So once you see dialogue from that particular enemy general, that's when the time starts. So we got one minute to defeat Chung Pu. And I'm pretty sure that was under a minute, so we'll move on to the next. And I'm pretty sure that was under a minute. I mean, if you really want to check and time it, obviously pause it and then go from there and make sure you keep track of the time. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, for me anyways, I could pretty much tell if I know I messed up. Anyways, so the gates opened. However, we're not going to move on just yet because I want to defeat everybody in here before moving on. Alright, 
So now we'll go. Uh, there's my horse. I'm actually going to take the longer way. So I could just make a right and do it that way. But you know what? I'm going to take the left. Take my time. Don't rush it. Don't do anything stupid. And then uh, we'll go from there. Might as well rescue the bodyguard first. And then we can head back, secure that gate, and then go around. As I said before, this stage, getting the weapon in general, should be very easy to fulfill. Because I think the only thing you have to worry about is defeating Zhotai and defending Liu Bei. So just focus on defending Liu Bei the entire time. And once you approach the non playables, with the exception of Jian Xin, um, defeat them quick. Because as I said, the time doesn't start until you encounter. That said, or uh, yeah, that said, uh, general. So I don't have to worry about that as much right now. I think that's everybody, so move down there, defeat the guard captain. And it looks like troops are coming all the way around the bend that way because of the gate above um, Chung Pu and uh, Ting Fong. But that's not going to change anything. I'm going to move on and uh, continue on my way. Go and defeat more troops. I really want to make sure I actually have um, 200 KOs before I defeat Ding Fong and uh, Han Shushang. Because uh, once I open that gate, Zhou Tai and Jian Xin will appear. If I have, well, I already fulfilled it, but if I have less than 200 KOs, Zhao Yun will appear. If I don't, he won't. That's going to be something that you have to focus on when you go for the level 11 weapon. But I'll talk about the details of that when we actually uh, go for it. But like I said, the more troops I defeat, the less I have to worry about later on. Yeah, I'll head over to the gate. 
That way, there won't be any more troops. And there we go. Let's uh, do that. Okay, so we secured the gate. Now it's just defeating the rest of the troops over here. Then we'll aim for uh, Panjang and Shushang. Or Dingfang, I should say. Dingfang and uh, Shushang. I just wanted to make sure. It seems like I'm losing my mind here for a second, but you know what? Uh, yeah, anyways. So far, so good. They want them to show up. Yeah. There it is. Alright, so I'll defeat one now. Since he's right here. And there we go. That was definitely under a minute. Got a good idea. I'm just hoping that the battle axe does not disappear after I defeat Shushan. And there we go, got the weapon. But now, Zhotai and Jianxin appeared. So now let's bolt over there and uh, make sure. I have a feeling I wasted this battle axe, I wasn't going to have enough time for it anyways. But if you want to keep that particular bodyguard alive, make sure that you bolt right over there and not worry about anything else. Yeah, that battle axe just got wasted. So yeah, right now, all I have to really do is complete the stage, not have Zhotai wreck me on my horse. Alright, Jian Xin is down. 
Like I said, I can't afford to have Jotai wreck me. Yeah, I'm not chancing it. I'm grabbing that fucking pot over there. Even if it's 50, it's something. That works. That might finish him off. Nope. Almost. Alright, that finished him off. Alright. So that's everybody. Now all I have to do is get myself down over there to the escape point. And there goes one of my guards. Once again, if you're trying to go for the weapon, those guards are actually a big deal. But we'll talk about that when I actually uh, go for the weapon. Anyways, let's just finish the stage. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Hopefully, Leo Bay will actually move. I don't think he's moving. My guards are, but not Liu Bei. Oh, there he is. Now he's moving. And as soon as Zhotai and Jian Xin appear, the troops will go straight for the escape point. But it really doesn't matter because once you and Liu Bei make it here, the stage will end. So. Are you kidding me? There you go. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, everyone. Should be safe now, I think. Is this what you wish? You know that this means you can never return to Wu. It's all right. I really enjoy being around you. And that's a win. Alright, so that's another weapon down. Okay, oh count is 406. I'm pretty sure we defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 16 minutes and 22 seconds. All points are going to be a decent amount, but it doesn't really matter because the points are at max. So... Eight thousand and fourteen points, like I said, does not matter because the points are at max. And there it is, the level ten weapon, the soul track room, 
once again. In order to get it, all you have to do is once you approach Pan Zhang, Xu Shang, Ding Fang, and uh, Chung Pu. Now, it doesn't have to be all at the same time, obviously, but every time you approach one of them, you got to admit to defeat that said enemy general. And you have to do that all four times with all four enemy generals. Chung Pu, Pan Zhang, Ding Fang, and wow. Massive, wow. Um, yeah, Pan, Pan Zhang, Chung Pu, Ding Fang, and uh god damn now i really have to check yeah i'm still here um yeah chung pu pan zhang shu shang and ding fang wow i don't know why that was difficult for me to memorize but it, it was um, yeah, so once you approach one of them, you have one of it to defeat that said general and so on and so forth. Once you defeat all four, all in under a minute from the time that you approach each and every one of them, you'll get the weapon. Sounds confusing, but it's not. Um, if you're trying to get it in the original, all you have to do is play the race for the non-territory, trigger the cutscene where Zhou Yu gets shot by that arrow, and he plans to retreat, and then... Sao Ren will charge towards Zhou Yu, defeat Sao Ren when he leaves the castle and starts attacking Zhou Yu. So, that's the method for that. Um, if you actually claim um, the territory that Sao Ren is guarding last, then you won't know that you'll you won't know that you unlock the weapon until you see the weapon experience points screen right here. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so that's it. The grade. We got an A. Not the highest points possible, but it's still an A nonetheless. So, anyways, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. And I'll see you in the next part where, yeah, I'm going to have to go and check the uh, next weapon. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it is... Uh, Soon Jian, but let me make sure I'm right on that before I confirm it. I'm pretty sure it is soon. Oh, no, it's not. That's the one after. Um, Liu Bei's is next. So, Liu Bei's, then Soon Jian's, but who's really counting, right? Anyways, peace out.